Well, this is December 7th. You can probably hear May already barking in the background. You all know what time it is. Let's get her collared up. My buddy Vince will be up here in a minute. And we'll be out in the woods. Y'all, thanks for watching this. It's Kentucky Cooner. May just got struck in. She's 412 yards away. She's been loose, what, three or four minutes or yeah. something like that? She's right down this big holler right here. Oh, she's coming up the holler, don't she? Yeah. Trail on the possum. Uh oh, look out. You're going to tree that possum, ain't you? You're going to tree her what, Cody? Quit messing around. I'll go ahead and tree her. You want to treat my dog already? I'll tree her if you ain't going to. I ain't sure. You treated her too early, didn't you, buddy? Yeah, I'd have got mine. She checked the tree and went on. I'll show you right on the dog trip <laughs> pathfinder app there. I'm recording this uh, hunt she's on. But, uh, she went on up, I don't know, about 50 yards out in front of where she was and opened back up. May's been loose right at 10 minutes. She is 505 yards away. May's getting a little hard to hear right now. She's... A little over 500 yards away, but there's a big rock cliff in there, and we can't hear. So she's got around them. We'll drive up here where we can get around and hear a little bit better. We got up here where we could hear May pretty decent. She come on up out of the holler to a field and dropping in another holler here. You should be able to hear her pretty good now. 143 yards. Let's show a May tree. She's 438 yards from us right now. We're walking down here to get up on a ridge and kind of ease our way around to her without having to drop through some hollers and stuff. So we'll be around there in a minute. We're 193 yards. We walked around this ridge and she's down in this big holler here, sound like. I hope she's got that thing. I do too. She trailed, she trailed a long way. Big old tree. You see it up there, Vance? Yeah, I see it. Put your laser on it. I seen it right there. Put your big light on it. Put your laser on it. I see it plain as day right here. Yeah. You give me a headshot. You see how far the coon went way over the hill there? I'm not going down there to get it. May will bring it up here to us in a second and <laughs> let y'all check it out. You bring the coon up here to us. Good girl, my guy. Good girl. Good girl. Ain't <laughs> that something? Look at that. That's cool, ain't it? Yeah, that is awesome. That just shows you how big your cliffs are. Look, it looks like it's in a, like it's washed out, ain't it? Oh, yeah. That's about a 14 pound boar. It's a, I'd say it was headed for these rock cliffs. Didn't make it though. She got up on him too close probably. Just got May loaded back up in the truck there. Gonna get us a couple bottles of water. We're burning up, <laughs> definitely overdressed. Gonna go to the other side of this property. Try to put another one on the wood. Well, May has now treed 511 yards. There's a big field over on the other side of that little shed there that we can drive through. So we're going to back the tundra out. Get headed around to the field, aren't you, buddy? Yep. 
519 yards. Yeah. We really ain't got no post yet. We kind of drove farther away right now. We're easing in on her now. Yeah. High tech now. I love it. It's amazing what the, how far coon hunts kind of made it. It's, oh, yeah. I don't know how we ever made it all them years without all that with them. I'll tell you how I made it. I was lost. <laughs> yeah, just walk around. Lost. Wondered what the dogs was doing all the time. Wonder where they're at. Drive around, listen for them. I walked and walked and walked and walked. Lost. Yep. I, I lost of a GPS. I ain't careful. I started hunting my dad in the late 70s. And we just drive around on, on the top of a big hill and listen for them. You wonder what them dogs is doing all them times, all them years. We probably drove about 400 yards from her, wasn't we? Yeah. A little over 400 yards. But we got a big field we can walk through instead of that's your old rough briar. We're probably 120 yards from May now or so. Letting y'all hear for a minute. Looks rough, Cody. Yeah. We can crawl through that. Yeah, I think I know a better way than this. See that one, didn't you? Yeah. I see it just fine right there. Freed right down here on the creek. Good girl. Kick yourself out. Good girl. Yeah, good shot. That's about the same size coon as that other one at the south. And it sure looked a lot bigger, didn't it? Yeah, it looked bigger. That's probably about 15 pounders. Must 15. have been where it was a little tree made it look bigger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if you bush like that one, a little hotter and quicker track. Yeah. yeah. You want some more of it, ain't you? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's head her back up to the truck. You ready? Yep. Well, we just got back from May's second tree. I hope you all enjoyed our hunt. We've had a good time, ain't we, man? Mm -hmm. I looked at my watch, it's 54 degrees right now. He's already took his jacket off, got three sweaters on, two t-shirts and a <laughs> tank top. <laughs> yeah. Everything lit tonight was from this new Bright Eyes Heat Seeker and he's got on the Hellcat Max. For all y'all's hunting supply needs, go on over to KentuckyCoonerHuntingSupply.com. Until next time, put them on the wood. <laughs>